So how do we draw an angle larger than 2 pi radians in standard position? Well, first step is always this. Start with your initial side on the positive x-axis. Label that 0 radians. Now since this is a positive radian measure, we will be rotating in a counterclockwise fashion. If it were negative, we'd be doing the exact opposite. So now what you need to do is you now need to label your uh, essentially standard positions here. So as you rotate, you know, uh, 90 degrees, right, uh, counterclockwise, that correlates with then pi over 2 radians, okay, at the 90 degree mark. This is then pi radians, and this is then 3 halves pi. And then if we rotated then full circle, that would have been 2 pi radians. Now since we don't like fractions, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to convert this all to decimals. So this is 1 half pi, and instead of writing the 1 half, I'm going to write 0 0.5, 0 0.5 pi, okay? And this is pi, but I'm going to put a little 1 there, all right? And at the bottom now, the 3 halves can get converted to 1 and a half pi, and then that's 2 pi, right? Now, imagine you had to keep rotating, and you didn't stop here, but instead you now rotated this full length, and then you continued up to here. How many radians would you have traveled? Well, you would have traveled pi plus then another half of pi, right? In other words, you would have traveled 2.5 pi. And then what would happen? Well, then if you traveled another half, you would have traveled now 3 pi. And then what happens if you travel another half? And this would then be 3.5 pi, right? And then this would be 4 pi. Do we have to stop there? Of course not. This would then be 4.5 pi. And this would be 5 pi. And then this would be 5.5 pi, right? And then this would be 6 pi. Do we have to stop there? No, right? Then this would be 6.5 pi. And this would be then 7 pi. Now, for this problem, we could probably stop there. All right, so watch. What I'm going to do is convert this into a decimal. So just take out the calculator. Or you can estimate it, right? 3 goes into 22 about 7 and a third times. Right, 3 goes into 21 7 times, and then it goes into the remainder 1 about a third of a time. So this is about 7.3, 7.3 pi. So in other words, what that means is this, watch. I'm going to draw another little line here, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to rotate 7.3 pi radians all the way around. We start at 0, half pi, full pi, 1.5 pi, 2 pi, 2.5 pi, 3 pi, 3.5 pi, 4 Four and a half pi, five, five and a half pi, six, six and a half pi, seven, seven and a third pi. Right, we gotta go another little third in here. Another little third, okay? This is now another little third of a pi, okay? And that's it, this is the angle. You know, this is the angle. This is what it will look like, okay? I can kind of erase this because I don't wanna bias you here. But when we think about it, we went around how many times? We <laughs> went around six, like, you know, what, six times? Oh, no, excuse me, four times? Right, a one, a two, a three, a four, and we finally get there. All right? So this is the answer. This is what it looks like. All right? But that's how to think about it. It's not that bad. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully that helps. If it did, help us out. Subscribe, like, maybe even tell your friends. All right? Please? Pretty please? All right. Hopefully we earned it, and we'll see you soon. Take care.